My name is Mislav Kos, and I'm going to tell you about the Portal Inline Progress Bar feature that is new with FileMaker 15. Here we have a layout that is based on a system table, which has just one record. And we see a portal showing contacts, and the contact table has one million records. The relationship is set up so that whatever number I enter in here, that's how many contact records we'll see in the portal. So for example, if I enter in two, we'll see two contacts. If I enter in five, we'll see five of them. Now, if I enter in a really big number, for example, a million, then it's going to take a while for all those records to be downloaded and for the portal to be displayed completely. And historically, FileMaker clients like Pro and Go have operated on a single thread, which means that as FileMaker Pro and Go renders a layout, gathers all the data, including for any portals that are on the layout, performs whatever calculations are necessary, and draws the layout, all of their work was done using a single thread. So let's take a look at this behavior using an older client. I have FileMaker Pro 13 opened here but it would work the same way with 14 as well. I'm going to type in 1 million, and we get this nice beach ball here, letting us know that the work is in progress. And during this time, we are locked out of the layout. We can't interact with it at all. Let's see how this works now with FileMaker 15. After a half second or so, we see a progress bar. So the way it works is FileMaker starts rendering the portal, and if it takes longer than a half second or maybe a full second or so, then it transfers that work onto a worker thread, and the main thread continues on with the rest of the layout, and in so doing, FileMaker returns control to the user much more quickly. If we do this again, we can see that I'm able to enter data inside the fields and tab through the fields on the layout while the portal is still loading. Note that for trivial portals, that is, portals which will take less than a half a second or so to load, all of the work of rendering it will remain on the main thread. A couple of things to note at this point. The overall time to render the full layout will not be reduced. This multi-threading is merely separating out the task of drawing a portal onto a separate thread so that users can interact with the layout more quickly while that task completes. The tab order is set up so that when I tab out of field A, I should go to the portal fields next, and after those, I end up in the field to the right here. But note that if the portal is still loading, the portal fields will be skipped, and I will tab directly into the field following it. Also, if I clear the key field midway through, while the portal is still loading, that action will implicitly cancel the execution of the portal worker thread. And in fact, the portal thread will be implicitly canceled whenever the portal no longer needs to be displayed. This can be because we switched to a different record, or we switched to another layout, or maybe we scrolled records shown in a list view so that a portal that was previously visible is no longer on screen, or because we switched away from browse mode, or, or maybe we closed the current window. However, if you do cancel a portal thread, and then you need to draw that portal again later, all of the work of drawing that portal will need to start from the beginning. And finally, note that I have this file hosted on FileMaker Server 14, and the reason why we're able to see the portal inline progress bar is because I'm using a version 15 client. The server version doesn't matter. This layout is the same as the one before, except that the portal is really narrow, and if a portal is too small to draw the progress indicator circle, then it will not be shown. You can see that the portal is still being loaded on a separate thread because the portal data is not visible yet and I'm still able to interact with the layout. And now that the worker thread has finished, we can see the portal data. On this layout, I have two portals, each one pulling data from a different table. If I'm displaying enough data so that it takes the portals a while to display, then each portal will get its own worker thread and we will see a progress bar in each one. There is no artificial limit to how many worker threads can be spawned at a single time, but do keep in mind that each additional thread will have the effect of slowing down the existing threads because each thread does use up CPU time. As I said earlier, FileMaker Pro and Go clients have historically functioned on a single thread, but this portal threading isn't the first instance of multi-threaded operation. I'm going to switch back to FileMaker Pro 13 here and go to a layout that shows a container field that holds a PDF file, and I have this container field optimized to show images. Pay attention to the container field as I resize the window, and you'll see a progress bar circle. The PDF that's stored in this container field is shown here using an image that is based on the first page of that PDF. As I resize the window, the field is also resized, and FileMaker needs to create a new version of that image to conform to the new size. This work used to be done on the server, but starting in 13, the image can be generated on the client as well, and when it happens that way, it's done on a separate thread. But this generally happens very quickly, so the effect is less dramatic, and as users, we tend not to notice it. It's just sort of something that happens in the background. But now that I've pointed it out, keep your eyes on the container field as I scroll through the rest of the records, and for a split second, you'll see the progress indicator circle shown in the container field before the image itself is shown. We're back in FileMaker Pro 15 now, and on a layout that shows an unstored calculation field which relies on all of the data in the portal to be determined before it can evaluate. This unstored calculation counts the number of records shown in the portal. Let's take a look at what happens when we set our field to show all million records and no more multi-threading. The entire operation is back on a single thread, and the user is forced to wait for it to complete before being able to interact with the layout. 
Here's another way that we'll force a layout to be rendered entirely on a single thread. This script will set the field to a million just as we've been doing by hand, but then the next step will count the number of records. If I run this script, we see that I'm not able to interact with the layout, and we see the same old modal dialog window as we used to see in prior versions of FileMaker. When the first step in the script is run, FileMaker is smart enough to know that there is a dependency later on in the script for the entire portal to be loaded, and so the entire operation takes place on a single thread. And here's another example of this behavior. In this case, the script goes to the ID field in the portal, and as a result, we have to wait. There's one other consequence of this new multi-threaded behavior to keep in mind. There are several layout tricks that can be very useful, which rely on the fact that the calculation engine is available to us directly through the layout. For example, the visibility hide condition, the tooltip calculation, conditional formatting, and so on. On this layout, I have an object placed all the way in the upper left corner, arranged at the back of the z-axis object stack. And I have another object placed in the bottom right corner, pushed to the front of the z-stack. The first object records the current timestamp using a let statement and a global variable. And the second object does the same thing and then subtracts the two timestamps and stores the result in a global variable. In this way I can see how long it takes for the layout to load. Switching back to 15 now, this trick will no longer work reliably because the main thread might finish before the worker thread does. Put more generally, be careful about setting global variables in any calculation that is accessible throughout the layout. However, setting global variables inside of a script will still be okay because scripts are still fully single threaded. I hope this was a useful introduction to the new portal inline progress bar feature. Please check out our other videos at Salon TV, and thank you for watching.